It was extraordinary, actually. It, I mean, it was quite extraordinary. I mean, of course, you, you know, you make a show, you hope it's good, you think it's good, you think it'll find its audience. I mean, I thought there were people out there who were going to enjoy it, but I've never known anything like that. I loved it. And we knew that the raw material was good, but how it was going to be received, we had no idea. I was sick overnight, really, literally, when it first went out, and then couldn't quite believe anybody when I heard. <laughs> it was fantastic, it is. I mean, it's an absolute dream. I thought it would be good. I thought it would get a lot of attention, and but it's just, what's the expression? It's gone viral, in it. <laughs> The scripts were so solid, and it was amazing cast, you know, and, and to roll up to Highclere Castle for your first day at work, you knew that something ambitious was underfoot, you know. So, you, you knew it, it was certainly came with a guarantee of some kind of quality, but it never comes with a guarantee of success. I would never have believed how, how huge a success it would be. Um, I love telling this story. I was in New York in January, um, seeing my sister in a play, and... Um, I was recognised in a, in a cafe in New York. And I think that was the moment that it really hit me how, how big Downton became. We all, you know, really believed in the show and we all thought we were doing something quite special last year, but I don't think any of us dared imagine that it would be quite as popular as it, as it was. So it's been amazing, yeah, it's been really great. What the audience really responded to in this show is that it's very much a contemporary, episodic, narrative drama it's got all of the hallmarks of a, of a contemporary show um, in its storytelling, but with all of the kind of delicious production value that you have in a period drama. And I think it was that unique combination that um, it made it so popular and, and, and is why the, the audience warmed to it so much. What should we call each other? Well, we could always start with Mrs Crawley and Lady Grantham. The essence is in Julian's writing, which is it's very layered. It, it just hit the moment. Julian's very good at sort of um, keeping the pot boiling, sort of getting everything moving, keeping all the characters moving forward, um, uh, introducing little sort of cliffhangers. That, oh, will they get together? Will they? Will they get together? Oh, is he in love with her? Oh, she's not in love with him. All that, and he keeps it all up in the air, keeps that mix um, bubbling away very successfully. Although it looked like a very traditional show, its structure was quite modern, so that. It wasn't a single narrative, you know, a nice, calm episode of something where the whole thing is about whether or not Flora's going to buy a hat, you know. It, it was all these stories going on all the time. So there'd be three or four major stories and then probably four or five little stories, some only three scenes, but nevertheless. And I think the other thing was that we treated quite deliberately everyone in the series with the same narrative weight. Even though it's a rip-roaring story, it's always based on something that's very true emotionally. All the characters you really believe. Please sit, sit, everyone. I just want to say a quick hello to my old comrade in arms. Julian has a knack for taking you to places that you're not expecting to go in the story. And he also, as much as is humanly possible, stays true to the period. I think he's been brilliantly clever at making it the same so it doesn't disappoint people who've fallen in love with certain traits of the show but it's different there's enough just of course historically it's moved on a couple of years and we start in, in, 19, in, in 1916 and so the world is a very different place to the one it was at the end of the first season. I'm a, a massive massive fan of the show huge so to even audition for it I was so overexcited and then when I actually got it I just I couldn't believe it. I was just so happy. It's like the dream job. Everyone's been so welcoming, so lovely, and really instantly make you feel at home. So it's just been a joy. I've loved absolutely every second of it. It's been great.